Hello and welcome to this section of the Calculus Derivative Tutor. Uh, in this section we're going to continue working problems that involve the quotient rule. So in the last section we worked a few problems to kind of get your juices going, show you how to use it. Uh, hopefully you got some great practice from that. In this section we're just going to continue doing a few more problems, maybe get to a little more complicated uh, things, but really just keep in mind that none of it is more complicated than what you've already seen from a big picture point of view. Uh, what really happens is that when you get into more complicated functions, you just usually have a little more algebra to do. So it's usually a matter of getting your algebra skills pumped up so that you can simplify the results. And so we're going to practice that here. So our first problem is going to not look so bad, really. Let's go ahead and work the following guy. f of x is equal to 1 over x to the power of 4 plus x squared plus 1. So at first you might look at this and say, how do I do this? I've never learned how to do one like this. But when you think about it, anytime you have one over a function, this is itself a function on top. It just happens to be a constant one. This one is also a function. So you can use the quotient rule on this without any problem at all, because even though there's a number up here, it's still in general a function, right? It's just a constant, it's a flat line, right? So you can still use the quotient rule on guys that look like this, but this will trip up a lot of students initially because in the beginning, you won't realize that, that you can use the quotient rule on something like that. So that's all we're going to do. f prime of x. How do we use the quotient rule? Recall from the last section. All it is is the bottom function, x to the fourth plus x squared plus 1, times the derivative of the top function. So here we have the number 1. We need to take its derivative, so we'll mark it like that. Minus the top function, which is this, times the derivative of the bottom function plus x squared plus 1, and we need to take its derivative, so we'll mark it like that, over the bottom function, x to the fourth, plus x squared plus 1, squared. So here we've done exactly what the quotient rule tells us. Bottom times the derivative of the top minus the top times the derivative of the bottom over the bottom squared. All right, so let's go ahead and do our math. Let's do our calculus. f prime of x is equal to x to the fourth plus x squared plus one. What is the derivative of a constant number one? Well, that's gonna be zero. So we'll just put it in there like that, minus. Uh, this is gonna be one. And this is gonna be a derivative we need to take. What is the derivative of this term? Four x cubed. We take the exponent down, subtract one off the exponent, and that's what we get. Plus, this guy is gonna be two x. The derivative of this is just simply zero, so we leave it off like that. So we've taken that derivative, we need to divide the whole thing by, this is just simply rewrite, x to the fourth plus x squared plus one squared. Okay, let's go ahead and, and I think we're pretty darn close to writing the answer down, f prime of x. This entire first thing is drops out because it's multiplied by zero. Then we have a negative here, so we'll have a negative, and we'll have 4x cubed plus 2x on top, and on the bottom we'll have x to the fourth plus x squared plus 1 squared. And like I say, if you wanted to, you could expand this bottom thing out, but you would have a really long polynomial term on the bottom. It wouldn't really cancel anything, so it would just better to leave it tidy like this. So this is the answer. On the top you'll have negative. 4x cubed plus 2x, and on the bottom you'll have x to the fourth plus x squared plus 1, all raised to the power of 2. So again, doesn't look too bad. I mean, it's really only four lines. And when you get a little bit better in calculus,